what happens if you take Shylock and you put her into a world of Cable Street in the 30s with, with a strong matriarch and this one daughter uh, and see how it influences the play. I met Bridget at the Tonic Awards. She said, what are you doing at the moment? I said, well, funnily enough, I'm thinking of this idea. And I immediately found that very exciting because one of the things that's really troubling in the play is the profound anti-Semitism of some of the leading characters in the play. I was aware of the power of Oswald Mosley and the British Union of Fascists in the 30s and how appealing they had been to the members of the aristocracy, uh, something which I found always very frightening. So I could see a way in which we could place Shylock coming from an East End Jewish background in opposition to a very privileged aristocratic set uh, in Mayfair um, who are brought together by mutual need. Lots of people were taken in. They presented themselves as a, as a patriotic renewal party coming out of the economic crisis. At the moment, I feel there's a rise in anti-Semitism, casual anti-Semitism, and it's tied in with misogyny so closely. So to have a female Shylock set in a new Rialto um, of the East End, working against the um, establishment of the Mitfords in the West End, I'm very happy to see that it all makes so much sense having gone on the walk. But tell not me, I know Antonio is sad to think upon his merchandise. Believe me, no! I thank my fortune for it. Ah. Gratiano speaks an infinite deal of nothing. His reasons are as two grains of wheat hidden in two bushels of chaff. You search for them all the day, and when you have them, they are not worth the search. What I have owed, I have lost. To shoot another arrow, that self way which you did shoot the first, I do not doubt, I do not doubt, as I will watch the aim, or to find both, or bring your latter hazard back again, and thankfully, rest debtor for the first. You know me well. <laughs> Therefore, go forth, try what my credit in Venice can do. That, that shall be racked into the uttermost to furnish thee to Belmont. This is a very specific moment in British history of huge anti-Semitism that was informed by Hitler and his, uh, his growing national socialism. Um, and that being against the Jew and all the horrible tropes around it could win you votes. Posters like this were going up in London. But what is mostly threatening here, a kind of invasion of the East End. In 1936, it was almost a daily occurrence that particularly young Jews and elderly Jews were being picked on on the streets, beaten up by Mosley's thugs. It was just a very threatening period. My family history was all set in, in Cable Street. My grandmother, my great-grandmother, my great-uncles all grew up around here and all fought in the Battle of Cable Street. And uh, let me see, but hear you, methought you said you neither lend nor borrow upon advantage. I do never use it. It now appears you need my help. Go on then. You come to me and you say, Shylock, we would have monies. You say so. You that did room upon my hair and foot me as you spurn a stranger cur over your threshold. Money is your suit. What should I say to you? Should I not say? What? Hath a dog money? Should I not say a cur can lend thee three thousand ducats? Or shall I bend low and bondsman's key with bated breath and whispering humbleness say this? Fair sir, you spat on me last Wednesday. You spurned me such a day. Another time you called me dog. And for these courtesies, I'll lend you money. I am as like to call thee thus again, to spit on thee again, to spurn thee too. Yes. 
I'm still quite emotional after this walk. Quite a bit of the history I knew intellectually, but when you're taken through the streets by someone who's spoken to some of the people who made that history, it's even more powerful. And when you're doing it in the company of Jewish women, who some of whom know a bit more, some of whom know nothing at all about this part of our history, and feeling the sense of shock and distress at how close we came to fascism in this country. It's been very moving for me and it's made me feel even more determined to make this project.